Hey y'all, welcome back to She's Crafty Kit. So today is going to be the first day that we start building page kits. And I'm probably going to forget along the way, but I thought I'd try to kind of track the page kits we do. Um, track in that, you know, like how many? There's no way I'm going to track track. So I've got a very full popping out of an iris container container of kits. So we're just going to go from one to the next to the next. And yeah, so this on the top is the very last kit that we created, paper kit. And what we're going to do is kind of go systematic with this stuff. Um, we'll get paper kit. Sorry, little lotion event here. We'll get paper kit. I think I'm going to um, start by adding in either an alpha or a... I want to be able to say it right because I'm slightly discombobulated still. Or like one of these that has like all kinds of the cool stickers in it. You know, like like titles. So, I mean, I have all kinds of them. They are stunning. They're gorgeous. And I want to be able to add those. Like, like come on, this can go with anything. So I want to add those kind of things. Now, I think I'm going to start with adding these in. Then I'm going to go over to alphas. The reason why is... Um, you know, I'm going to put the page kits together and like whatever I don't use from one kit, I'm going to carry to the next, to the next, to the next, save the pattern paper scraps. They can be used on and on and on. And if we have goodies left over, we'll create more kits. You guys told me that that's the way you wanted this party to go. And Hey, why not? I love when you guys, oh, <laughs> I love when you guys, um, pop in and give me your two cents. So we're just going to go for it. So let's see, we are going to have to have caveats. I always have a good caveat. Sorry, I'm moving things because I'm in a zoom at the same time. And I want you to be able to zoom. Um, so I want to get either an acrylic or a wood veneer in each kit, starting with wood pieces, then, you know, going from there. I have got a cute little bin of enamel dots and I was thinking about it and I was like, do I want to cut them into strips and put them in? I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe I'll do it this time to see what I think because it's like a smaller amount of them. Normally I have a big old, like I, I have like a bin of happiness, I call it my enamel dots, but I definitely want to get some traction with them too. I have all of these things I want to use. Now, what I'm not going to put in, but I will be using with each layout, I'm not going to put in my flare from the get. Um, or do I put in my flare from the get? That's not part of this kit club teardown. That's why I wasn't going to do it. No, I'm not going to because, guys, I'm doing these kits and I have like 25 kits from um, the scrap room that I pulled for... What is it for? It was for, um, was it scrap timber? It's, it's, I was doing, um, the 31 days of cut files mixed with uh, the scrappy prompts. Guys, what is it? I think it's, um, yeah, scrap timber. <laughs> so my plan was to put flare in with all of them. So let me hold off on the flare and just use what we already talked about. I think that's the smartest way to do this. <sighs> So then when I do my kits, I will put them down on the floor over there um, so that the first kit we do today will be the first kit I use when I get to these kits. Guys, I have a lot going on. I'm thinking of using a lot of these kits for um, <laughs> when I'm working. Sometimes I have time to do a little crafting, maybe not some talking, so I can come back and maybe share layouts with you when that happens or whatever. We're going to try it, like for couch scrapping, that kind of thing at night. I'm thinking that might work. I'm not sure. I'm not going to have any huge rules. There won't be a process video for everyone, I don't think. Who knows? I've talked for four minutes. We haven't created a single kit. Let's do our thing. Okay. I am going to, for now, pop these kits on the floor because I have no room for them. Okay. So let's look. Now, these last kits, guys, and I, I have more camera space here right now so that you guys will be able to see bins when I go through them. Um, these last kits weren't my favorite. 
like, you know, like when I was going through. So these are the, <laughs> we're going to actually be putting kits together in order of not my favorite to getting better, getting better, getting better to, ooh, okay. Because these are categories, you know, in, in my head. So let's see what we have. Hold on. I got to check something. I have a message on Facebook. Like I said, I am zooming as I go. Da, 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 da. Um, okay. I wanted to make sure I was doing the right thing really quickly. Okay. So we have got a 49 of market paper. So, ooh, kind of like that. Um, Excellent quality. Oh, Cartabella. So we've got this and this, but I do have the papers currently facing up in the um, vibe that I was planning on using them. This is paper rose out of Australia. And then I have a couple of Minte pieces. This is the backside, guys. Minte is so great. <laughs> I'm on their DT, so, you know, work with me on that. Because they, they don't waste the packaging, this is the cover, but they still have a printed sheet on the back. And then these are like these mechanics drawers that are so cool that that's what we have. All right, so we have that. So what our plan was, we're going to do flippy, flippy, flip. And this is going to help us decide a lot. That's probably irritating that this line right here isn't even. And this light, guys, I don't know what's going on with it lately. It has been, like if I go like this, we have way more light, right? But sometimes we get a glare and I know you guys don't like that either. It's a tough one to get the balance. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through these bits, pick pick one, plop it in. Yes, the whole thing, calm down. Um, and the reason why, I shouldn't say the whole thing. If I have two sides of this, maybe I'll put in one. The reason being is that I'm gonna carry them forward. Okay, so let's see what we have. We've got this, I've got a nice, cup of Earl Grey hot. I just noticed it is making a little cup stain, which is cute for crafting, but don't want it on my papers. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to go with, which way do I want to go? Maybe if I go like that. All right. So now, no, don't want to do the black. Now this is interesting because it pulls in this, but we definitely have an orange vibe. Not feeling the Merry Christmas with it. You know, this reminds me of that color. These are Vicky Booten. Um, it's black, but it picks up the smallest amount of blue, like for real. Rainbow, shine bright. I think these were a pebbles thing. Guys, does anybody know why they were called puffy foil stickers? Was there like a foiling technique you could do with them? I never understood that. These are super cool. Wouldn't that be great to kill these off? These are circa 2015. Baby boy, congrats, night night. I don't like the silver with that brown. Too happy. Oh, these go into my sticker bin. Wrong one. And these and these go into like a different category too. What am I thinking? Oh, this is kind of interesting. It picks it up a little bit. It's not great, but this one is. I like that Discover. Here's the thing. I just told you guys I would want to use both, but I just thought about it. if I put that in, because I like that with it, then I'd want to use a couple more pieces. So that's going in. Okay, I'm going to pop those right back into a nice little pile, also known as a pile. Now, what do we grab next? What do we grab next? Because right now, that's kind of cute. Maybe I'll scooch it way over here. Guys, I got to get my groove. Got to get my groove. First one will probably take a lot longer because I'm trying to figure out what the freak I'm doing. All right, let's go for a wood veneer piece next. So we think we like this Discover. How about Autumn Paints Nature in Gold? Why? Because it was the first one I picked and it works with the colors. Done. 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 I have a little boat. I have a couple that are just kind of like not assigned to anything. So we have that because so I want to start with wood in each of them. Should I see if there's another piece so I can pop a couple different wood things in? 
sailboat's not working, home's not working, because we have discover as kind of a thing. Can probably do a clock, because time is always ticking. Mm, no, I was gonna say, if I have that whole like autumn paints nature thing, I like the, ooh, the mountains are calling. I don't think I have any Colorado picks in um, the autumn though. Little sweaters. <laughs> Nature paints discover. We could do some kind of a little pumpkin-y thing. Maybe. Happy Thanksgiving. Not really. I like discover and I like that. Let's put the, um, oh, the football went flying. Let's go ahead and put that like rose compassy thing on because I just got these really great glitter markers from scrapbook.com and I wanna paint everything with them. All right, a couple of wood pieces are in with random watch, great. Now what? Now what? Let's see if there's anything from this pile that will work. So we have a lot of the, those pieces. These are nice and flat. I'm digging this deep orange kind of vibe though. Nope, nope, nope. Exquisite, but nope. Little stickers. Nope. So it, ooh, see how this color is working like that? So the hanging out works. Not all of it works, but like that little piece. So I'm gonna have these two pieces, a couple of wood pieces. All right, I like it, I like it. This is totally how I do this. I mean, I have sticker sheets, I have all kinds of things but we're just using the bits. Now for chippies. Chippies, I would probably, oh, we have Santa, we've got Halloween, we've got leafy bits, gears, and big old construction-y trucks and things. So those are kind of specific. Those might end up being things that just get worked in at the end. You know, like with every kit, I'm not sure. I also have just a couple, not many at all, little cut apart sheets here. If I need them for something, I have them handy dandy. Okay. So let's go right here. This is just like a bin of like die cuts and things. Doilies are going to go with no. Can't use those flare yet. Too bright. Little cut aparts. Yep. This is 49 a market. Guys, I also have this massive bin down here of <laughs> 49 and market that is part of this adventure we're doing so if I don't find something here I can go to there it's fine all right so let's flip through here that's Easter that's beautiful but it doesn't work that is black I think there is is that navy in there too though this might have some navy this is from um uniquely creative they're these really easy to use like cut aparts Got some of that tan look. This is a total like maybe situation. We've got winter, Christmas, Christmas. That's from Better Off Dead. The thing happening in my head there. You know what? We've got a little bit of this color. I think it's the same collection, so I'm gonna go like that. Perfect. Now, that, that, that. Oh, guys, we almost had a scrap catastrophe. <laughs> what? Boys, it's okay. My mom, mom's been, had a little issue. All right, let's work on maybe some enamel dots. So this is that thing like that I was talking about that I'm low key, excuse me, freaked out about cutting these up, but I'm trying to be adventurous. I am. So we really liked this color. I I'm just gonna have to be brave about this and I can toss the packaging as we go. So I really was excited about this color. So let's do that. Yikes. So we have that and maybe this blue. Maybe I'll use more if I do this. This, this is a really good little experiment for me. So I have two, that's great. These go back in the bin and I'll be looking at these first with the way I do things. Then, Okay, so we've got some interesting things going on in this kit so far. And this is just one page kit, guys. Look what I have right here. Got yellow, Th there was some green in here. I don't think this one can be used though. Eh, nope. All right, let's see. Nope, nope. We've got some navy 
little hearts. And there's a bunch in here. So I'm gonna just put three so we can have texture. Oop, so that's fun. That might be enough for that because it's already interesting now. Wordy bits, puffy bits. See, I have so many of these little odds and ends that we will get to. The, we will get to. Guys, I'm at 15 minutes, one kit. It will get faster. All right, so we have that. And then, oh, I know what we wanted to do. I want to look in this bin each time and see if I can pull a sequin mix each time. And if there's a way to make like a shaker pocket or something like that, we're going to do so. So I don't know. Do you guys see anything? These are these are sequins. And then these are just some little extra bits like um like charms or little hard bits. But sequins are the name of the game to start. So that, oh, that has a campfire and it's brown and gold. Oh, it was a s'mores mix. Okay, I'm gonna put s'mores in. Perfect. Any washi that I'm really feeling for that? Nope. Okay, so that's that. I think that is a really nice sized first kit. Now I have got countless baggies like this. I keep them all from any kits and I use them forever, like forever, forever, forever. Like I have taped them together, kind of use them forever. So that's one, yep, one whole kit in this whole time, but you guys were kind of figuring it out with me, what we were doing. So, ah, don't you guys hate it? Like when you're trying to get a pen to work and you don't want this, the scribble mark to be on the top of things or totally could just be me. All right, let me move a couple things out of the way so I can start getting page kits in. All right, the next thing. Oh, yes, lovely. My dog drooled on some of my paper. That's nice. Getting the next page kit. Once again, we're kind of going in order of heh to like pretty good. We've got some deep orange. We've got some mushrooms, some plaid. Ooh, some 49 and market. So in Terrasante on that one. Um, all right, let's do the same thing. Now that's interesting for that, but I would really like to bring in some of these more interesting, like warmer colors if I can. I would. Now, guys, is that like the match of matches? That's done. Okay, that wasn't very complicated, was it? No. Yeah. All right, so the next thing we want to bring in, let's get a wood piece again. Now this is clearly like a little dusky. It's got the autumn-y kind of vibe. Let's see. The mountains are calling and I must go. That might work. I do have mountain photos. Gobble, gobble. No, 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 no. Happy Halloween now. That's not gonna work. I've got little coffees. We will get through these. It's going to happen. Oh, I like the idea of maybe this and this. That is super thick. Yikes. Um, yeah, I think those two would be good. That's kind of cool, and that's kind of cool. But I'm thinking that's doing enough of the mountainy thing for that. And I can color that in. That would be really fun. Okay, so we've got a couple wood pieces. That's plenty. And those little ones don't work for anything. I have a couple painted ones, so I wanted to take a look at them. Okay, we have that. Now, guys, we can always bring in mixed media and all of that because I plan on entering into lots of challenges and things because it's like my thing. So, you know, if it says like use mist, it'll happen. It's all going to happen. It's going to be fine. All right, so we've used that. Should we do the enamel dots thing? Oh, guys, look at this. It is so dark outside, guys. It is gloomy and dark and raining. And it's like morning time, but it is awful out there. So that's clearly super easy to get some enamel dots action in. Hmm. Dream big, brave, strong. Is that... No, I'm going to put that in. So I can feel good about that. No, 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 no. Just seeing if there's any of these soft bits. Oh, 
these little soft mushrooms would work with the mushrooms and the gray. Okay, fun, 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 wordy bits. I already feel like I got stuff out of this container, out of that container. Phew. Okay, let's see what's in this little pile. Oh, pile went flying. Um, let's move this over a tiny bit. How is it that my desk is already getting messy? I don't know how that's a thing. So let's see. No, no. I like this more subdued vibe. Like I could bring in this gray, but it's almost like an elephant gray and that's warmer. Interesting. Look at these up here. Not all of it, but these up here I think would be great. And then once I use it, it'll go to the next one. So I think that's going to be it for that. I'm very much feeling that vibe. I like some of this, but that can wait. Okay, that's cute so far. Wordy bits, we have got texture, we have dimension. Um, we have to do this sequin thing. Let me make sure that there's nothing in here that just is begging to be a part. Those are Easter, by the way. So pretty, but we're doing mountains. We're being mountain-y. Mountain e. Hmm. That strong black with that is kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put those in. Sweet. Sweet. So that's good. What do we need? Oh, we need some sequins. Sequins. So we've got brown, gray, green. So I can always just go plain brown wood veneer. But yeah, these look like they'll, they'll work. All right, I've got those. These have like some aqua, some green, some brown. Great, 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 great. So you guys might get sick of this like avalanche of shaker pockets, but I need to consolidate some of these things. It needs to happen. So this is my second kit. We are at 22 minutes. So yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, guys. Um, Let's see. I don't know, like, it'll be really interesting to see how many um, big page kits we pulled out of this. And then we can have this, right? And then like, will we get even more layouts from like scraps and stuff? It'll be really interesting to me. That stuff is so interesting. I love watching, hold on, I'm getting another kit real quick. I've always loved watching um, like Janet from RTS and Nick Mackin used to make these massive, fabulous like <laughs> kits. I used to, I watched this one like four different times and they were hours long, most exquisite, most exquisite if you like this kind of thing. I just threw this cut apart piece in here when I was um, pulling stuff from my Minte 6x8, which wasn't like, within my rule book at the time. Oh, I have two kits. I'm getting a little crazy. Um, wasn't within the rules and regs at the time, but that kit was almost broken apart. So I was like, eh. So we've got a piece by Photo Play. We've got this piece here. This is from Uniquely Creative and then a 49 in Market Sturdy Gertie with a little minte. So this is totally vibing, really masculine, deep blue. We've got dark greens, all of that. So let's see what we have. So very deep brown color, menly menly colors. It's kind of, kind of dark. Let's see, that's too happy. These don't necessarily go with that but you know it's kind of cool like this kind of a frame going in there and this piece right here could make some really good shakers because I mean I could use some of these but you know this I already decided that this was going to pick up like this super deep masculine vibe so I like oh boy this one is getting a lot, little little shaky here I don't know what happened but things are going sideways with that one Okay, so I have that. So since I don't quite have the vibe and I'm not trying to go winter, I just like some of those frames. Um, let's get my box of alphas. My very chonky 
very big box of alphas that I need to get through. So I have the very flat ones in the front. You know, there's just a couple that are super flatty flats. And then I have these small ones, like pink fresh ones. And then I have like, you know, like the six by 12s. So kind of like the idea of this deep brown because it's bringing in the brown. It wasn't used at all. Although this is kind of cool because it picks up that color. What if I put both in so I can have a two part title? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we have that. We've got alphas. We have got chipboard frames. Remember not using the Christmas stuff, but we are going on the color stitch on that one. Nice. <sighs> Enamel dots. Let's see what we have. So lighter blue. No, no, no. I'm going to put these little orphan ones. Should I get a little bin for the orphan ones as we go or leave them right there? I think right there is fine. Black. No, no. I like this navy. Um, I like this off white color. One, two, three, one, two, three. Ooh, I can use these. Okay, so another one of these is going to be biting Z Deuced. Because I like this, like, it's kind of like a bone color or an ecru. I think that would work for me. And, you know, I'll get more on there. So this is going to bite the dust. Oh, somebody is connecting into my Zoom. I'm going to have to talk to them in a minute. Okay, I'll break. All righty, one of my friends popped into my Zoom link and said, hey. Oh, I just dropped off my, um, what, did, what just fell off? Oh, it was a stamping block. It's okay. All right, so I think the next thing we are thinking about is grabbing sequins. Because these things are going to get some traction. Ooh, no, I definitely want to bring in something with some blue. And it doesn't have to just be straight blue. This has blue. This has blue. It's got some deep colors. Done. And, you know, if you're going to be like, don't you want to look at them longer? Don't you want, we will be here forever doing this. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Interrupted again by one of my pails popping right in. So I have this and this. Let's get, do we do enamel dots? You know, I do want to get a little bin, and I'll show you why. Let me get a little enamel dots bin or roux because <laughs> I tend to like to rifle through stuff. And we're on the desk. The rifling is just a little bit trickier. All right, so we're going to start with these. Um, it's mostly this really nice blue. So, oh, wait, guys, I did enamel dots there already. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to a thing. Okay, we have that. Let's go into our wood pieces. And right away I see this and I'm kind of drawn to it because we've got all of these tools and things. So I may be bringing in a little bit of these tones just to make that work. I think, cause I don't know how many like of the tools and you know, that kind of stuff I have from Mente floating around. I am, rifling through really quickly, but I'm thinking that would be a really fun way to do it. That's what I'm thinking. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. So that'll work for me. I did put a piece of paper right here because my um, Ot light kept doing a glare there and I didn't want it to be too much for you guys because it can be a lot. Okay. So we have this. We have wood. We have sequins. We have our enamel dots, right? Let's look at Da, da, da. We have that, that, that. Let's see if there's anything in this little bin here that is going to give us an idea. Now, keeping in mind, I can go ahead and fussy cut all of those pieces out. Now we have this, but we already have those frames and I don't want to do any more winter stuff. I mean, I'm not trying to do any wintry stuff. It's just that the colors worked. You know what? Got that whole Minte garage kind of vibe. It's the same exact collection. So I'm going to see if I can use more of them. And let me see. I don't think 
that I need to bring this in. Well, these are gorgeous and stunning and all that, but <laughs> not going to work. Too pretty, pretty. Now, what about this? You know what? Quality guaranteed, authentic products, premium quality. I think I can bring this in. Um, we have our sequins. We have that. Is there anything I'm missing? Is there anything I'm missing, guys? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Let me see. I've got a little bit of twine. Nope, neither of those colors are important for this. And I'm looking at this going, I wonder if, if I bring in some of that yellow, do we have like a deep yellow that we can bring in to bring in that color? Or, you know, we can bring in that maroon with some enamel dots. That's what we will do to start. So we've got some maroon and we've got this bone color. And then as I use them, if I don't use things up, I'll have them go right back in the little bin. It'll be great. So I think that will work for our third kit. So we will put a little three right here. We will get a little bit of packaging. Do, do, do. <laughs> there we go. We have our third kit. Let's grab the next one and see what we have. Let's see. Okay, so more dark colors again. Like I said, these were like the kits. Y'all, you think I could keep it together. These were the kits that were not my very first picks, but some of them are still very interesting. Gray, black, kind of this dusty, dirty yellow vibe. I like, it's, it's good, it's fine, we're gonna make it happen. Okay, let's do, how are we doing this? Okay, we're doing these first, I forgot. We're trying to keep it together for my own rules that I give myself. So, are these too whimsical? Current, amazing, nye, 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 forever. See, these seem like too lovey, but I'm going to keep them here for now. Not doing Christmas with them. No. Ooh, I like the idea of these with them. It's nice. It's dark. It's black. They need to be used. So there's something, like whatever, that we can get used with them. Perfect. So let's do that. Let's grab, how do we want to do the next part? Mm, 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 mm. Um, how about these? Any of these stickers, little joys, that works, but not much. See the grays? This is such a like blue elephant gray that it's just not perfect. I love those ransom letters though. Those are hilarious. I wonder how I feel about that. Like just, oh, don't, don't watch people. People might freak out. I'm going to pull these ransom letters and put them in with it. I think that's fun. All right. So we have that for interesting things to look at. Then let's get, um, should I look at, let me look through here. Let me look through here. I like those black pieces right there. Or are they supposed to be navy blue? Cause that's navy. I wonder if they're supposed to be navy or black. I don't know. Does it matter? No, we get to do whatever we want. So I'm just gonna look to see if any of these die cuts kind of vibe with this collection and then I'll build the other things. Now we've got these pieces with the black and this is Minte again. I might use that and the reason being is, ooh, nice little travel one. I'm gonna put that in the front. The reason being is that the kit before had all of this, ooh, that's kind of cool. You guys, how do we feel about that instead? Cause it's pulling in so much of that yellow. All right, don't even, don't listen to anything I just said. No listening to the words. I'm gonna pull these two pieces in. And these were, yeah, from P13. And it's kind of camping and stuff. So that's giving us kind of a cool theme we can work with. Okay, so now let's go look at our wood pieces. 
So we're thinking like, you know, campy, outdoorsy stuff, right? Some point, I'm going to have to separate these out. This is this whole bin of like odds and ends, but I will do that once I get through these pieces. Okay, that's New Year's. This is snowflakes and stuff. Not really the vibe. Joy, cocktail shakers, sweaters. I need outdoorsy campiness. Not really fall. Let's see. I'm hunting. And now if I don't see anything in these, I'll grab acrylics. But this is all the process. You know what? Those are kind of cool with those. So let's do that. Let's do that. Anything else? This isn't a home thing. Not a baby thing. Not a Buzz Lightyear thing. Ooh. Eat, sleep, camp. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. <laughs> Little exciting moments. Eat, sleep, camp. Those are cute. So if I have two, that should do it. I always like if I can get three of something on. But, you know, I don't expect miracles all the time. Why don't I, let me get bin number 5008. Because we just need to keep pulling in more bins, clearly. Um, let me see what's in here. So that something would actually get used from in here. I always keep my baggies and all of my things. It's fine. Thankful. Fall fun. Together. These are gorgeous, but they're a little darker. Ooh, and I can put a little wood piece. Yay, found something. That's why we do that. Um, enamel dots. Let's see if we have anything. Now, this color is getting brought in. I'm wondering, yep, I'm going to go ahead and bring that color in because it's in these stickers and I want to make it look like I meant to. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, there's enough for nine. That's fine. Um, we need to get sequins. 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 All right. Interesting mixer brew we have. That's interesting. We've got gray. We've got some sequins. We've got a little black. That'll do. Perfect. Is there anything in here that I should be looking at? How about these half buttons? Because those are half. Sweet. Okay, we've got a couple different things. We are keeping it interesting, my friends. Is there anything else we have to look at right now? Not the half things. We've got plenty for alphas. We've got die cuts. Let's see what's in this bin really quickly. We've got some fibers. You know what? We do have this color running right here. So let's do that. Just having a little color sitch. There's camping, fibers, blah, blah, blah. Nope, nope, nope. Wordy bits, wordy bits, wordy bits, tags. How about a couple cluster starters with that? Sweet, okay. Another kit, my friends, bites the dust. And another one's gone, and another one's gone, and another one bites the dust. Four. I'm going to stop this video at five because I know it was super long with me getting my groove going, but we will pick it back up and just keep rocking with all of this. What a fun page kit. So fun. Okay. The last one for this video will be, ooh, like a little repeat on the paper. Hold on. All right. So we've got Navy. We have got Okay, we've got a Simple Stories in the orange. We've got this slightly off-white. We have got this Paper Rose Navy and a couple of Minte papers. I will pull, my friends, um, this Minte paper stuff that I didn't pull the last time <laughs> to get some of the navy in, not the black on this one. But you guys know what I said before, then we can pull stuff forward, it's fine. Okay. So let me look in my enamel dots really quickly. That is the wrong shade of orange in case you're yelling at me. Oh, I loved it, guys. Um, one of you, I like that really deep orange, but hmm, I'm thinking that I might use that color. One of you guys said, well, you asked for it. So here we go. Um, 
I had asked you guys, hey, I know that you guys, you know, are yelling and saying, please grab that paper, please grab this paper. And somebody said, well, you asked for it, here it is. I wanted you to use this with this, this with this. And I was like, go you. Somebody was hilarious. I'm also gonna grab some of these off-white ones. There we go. This is kind of fun. Why is it fun to cut them up? I don't know. All right, we have that, we have this vibe. Let's grab our wood pieces. So this is gonna be kind of grungy, something kind of masculine, don't really know. It, you know what this could be for um, my son's new house? I have this word that reads home. We can do a heart. Just got a new house and you know we were really busy, like they closed on it and they moved in a week later. So there's lots of painting, lots of things to be done in it. So I thought it was fantastic. And along with that, because like it was just now. I'm gonna pop this football in. Uh-oh, remaining waiting time. The reason why is my son is big into football. It's totally like a home thing for him. Okay, let's see. We have that. Your meeting will end in 10 minutes. Need more time? Zoom Pro, blah, blah, blah. I have to look at that. Um, Because I did a little Zoom link for fun. And it looks like it won't stay on all day. How rude. Okay, let's look. We have that. I don't think we needed anything else from in here because we do have those pieces. And, you know, the whole plan is to work hard to get things used. I don't think I used any of those Tim Holtz pieces. Okay, I have that, 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 that. A couple sticker sheets to look at. Hmm, that's close, but no cigar. And then we have this, well, that piece works. Like that one piece right there. I don't normally cut out things like this. Maybe I should, but I saw navy and I got excited. That's gonna bring me a little bit of white too. If I saw that nice dark orange, I'd get excited again, but you guys, navy is like this special, wonderful thing that is hard to get a hold of. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, we need sequins. 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 Do we have anything that happens to have orange and blue? Um, yes, but the wrong shades, of course. Let's see. I'll settle for orange. I know it's not going to happen, you know, to get that like spot on kind of vibe. That has a little green. I don't mind green at all in it. I think it's gorgeous. I love green. So I started a Zoom link for something I am doing and it's arguing with me saying that I need to upgrade to something else. So I'm going to have to look at that in just a second. So this is super cool. It is a wintry mix. So I'm just going to have to take out the, um, the little pieces of trees that are in it. All right, guys. So that is this last kit for now. That brings us to five for this video. And guys, I'm going to see you ever so soon with another video. I will have the link down below for the group that we are talking about all kinds of kits and all of that kind of stuff. So pop in, let me know what you're doing, all that kind of stuff. And guys, I'm going to see you ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.